Hello, my little woolly. In today's tutorial, I'm sharing my easiest pattern to knit mittens for beginners using straight needles, not circulars. And you can make them any size you need. I'll show you how. Just go to my website, sewwoolly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. The construction is easy peasy. We'll make two rectangles, knitting the edges upper and lower in garter stitch. As we wear the mittens, those edges will show vertically, where the garter stitch work as a classic grid, tighter in the wrist and fingers. The center of the mitten is knitted in a stockinette stitch, a more relaxed fabric, loose enough to fit the palm and the back of your hand. To prevent the stockinette stitch part of the mitten from curling, we'll knit an edge also in garter stitch at each side of that part. You will need 30 grams of wool, worsted weight or medium, and US 10 or 6 millimeter knitting needles, plus scissors, tapestry needle, and measurement tape. You can also decorate the mittens as I did using the duplicate stitch technique. If you want me to show it to you, please let me know in the comments. The measurements of the finished mittens are, once sewn, the mitten is 9.45 inches length, folded in half, covering the back and the palm of the hand, by 7.5 inches width, from fingers to the arm. As I said before, if you want to work with a different kind of yarn, a different gauge, and a different size, please visit my website. I'll show you there what to do. I'm going to cast on 38 stitches. I think I forgot to tell you that you will need two markers. Okay, now we're going to need four rows in garter stitch. That means knit every stitch of every row. So now we're knitting the first row. Just knit across. I'm getting to the end of the row. The second row is the same, just knit every stitch. This will form the lateral edge, which will be joined to the other edge when we have finished. And then knit rows three and four, just the same, knit every stitch. Now we're going to knit the first row of the stockinette section and we're going to split or divide the number of stitches. So first, knit 10 stitches. Place a marker. Now knit 18 stitches. Place the second marker and knit 10, the last 10. This is row 1 and every odd row. Second row and every even row. 
mit ten. Slip the marker. Now pull a team. Slip the marker and knit 10. So repeat these last two rows until you have 16 rows in stocking at stitch or shortly before. Place the meeting on the back of your hand. You will know that the half is reached when the upper edge in garter stitch covers the fingers. Not extremely tight, just a little bit. Now keep knitting, repeating rows 1 and 2, until you have 33 rows in stocking at stitch. Now to form the upper edge in garter stitch, we are going to knit rows 34 to 36, just knitting every stitch of each row, to repeat what we did at the beginning. So this is row 34. You won't need the markers anymore because they are just plain knit rows. Row 35, the same, just knit every stitch. Row 36, again, knit every stitch from the first to the last. And when, when we get to row 37, we're going to bind off knit wise. To do that, just knit the first, knit the second, and pass one over the other. Knit the following one and pass the stitch over. Knit and pass to the end of the row. When you get to the last one, knit, pass the stitch over, and now we can cut the yarn, leaving a 10 cm tail, or 4 inches, and pass it through this last loop. Now we're going to fold the mitten in half, place it on your hand to see where the first open for the thumb, needs to go 
thread your tapestry needle and facing the right side of the work you are going to join first the most exterior corners twice And then find the little strands that are next to the caston edge on one side and next to the bind of edge on the other side and pass the tapestry needle below. And repeat. Wearing the mitten, check on your own hand how wide you want the opening for the thumb and finish sewing up the other side. Repeat the process for the second mitten and congratulations! You can wear them now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please let me know in the comments if you want to learn the duplicate stitch technique so you can decorate all of your knits with different motifs. Happy knitting!